Hi, welcome to this week's Elements Developer Diary. Now last week we talked about launching the beta and that's exactly what we've done. It's only with a private small group of users at the moment, but we're adding new users every day. And if you want to get on that list, you can go over to the forum. Uh, let me open that up now. Now we launched another beta yesterday um, with a whole bunch of changes and all the changes we added in this were based on the feedback we've had from users so far. Um, so things have been going really well and I want to thank everyone for all their feedback because it's just been absolutely amazing and it's so great to see that you guys love the product and you can see the potential in it and what we're building. So if you do want to um, get added to the list um, just we pinned this at the top of the forum um, and you can just write on here and request that you want to join the beta and I'll get you added to the list right um, so I wanted to go over a few things a few changes in the beta and also share an example project with you and the nice thing about this is now those of you on the beta and um, we'll be adding more people today so um, yeah, if you really want to get on the beta, add it, get yourself added to that list. Um, the nice thing is now I can demo this and then share the project file and you guys can play around for yourselves. So um, I built this quick project here. It's kind of like a one page uh, link in bio kind of site. So uh, you could add all your social networks onto here if that's your thing. Um, but I'll share this project with you. and. It's, you know, really, I just um, spent an hour putting this together and um, and I think it looks pretty good. We've got some nice blurring going on here, so it looks like a, um, a kind of like a frosted glass effect. And, you know, all this stuff is uh, built in. We can take that down there. You can see it's now sharp and we can increase the blur. And that's pretty cool. Um, what else I've done here? I wanted to walk you through this. If you are going to have a look at the project and use the project, it's set up quite nicely in the fact that the buttons here are in a flex um, and we've got flex items in there and in each item is a button and if I wanted to add more buttons I can just duplicate uh, this flex item you can see the bio button there I can duplicate this boom and we've got another button now these buttons are globals um, and you can see that there I turned a button into a global and you can also see in your tree here by the little globe icon and I turned these into globals so that if I change the style of them they'll all change together but what I did is here I've overridden the URL um, so I've broken the link and overrode the text and we can do the same one here you can see if I if I turn that off it switches back to the original but we want to override this and so I could say um, visit YouTube uh, and we could change the link here. Um, let's see, I think it is youtube.com forward slash realmax. So we can do that. And now that set this one to um, YouTube. So uh, I've got realmax software, forums, and YouTube. But they're all using the same uh, global button. So if I change any of these, settings they will all change so if we change the background of the button uh, you can see they all change there all together um, but the text and the link stays the same you know and the and the same we talked about this last week these the globals are so useful like if I wanted um, the YouTube button to be red I could override this and set it to red and the other ones uh, stay in yellow so very cool stuff and uh, let me go uh, let me go to the resources so one thing you guys requested was dragging images straight into the page but as well as that also dragging images straight into um, on top of an image uh, component so I've got an image component here and you wanted to be able to take an image and just drop it straight back on there again for it to be replaced rather than having to drop it over here in the drop well so we've done that so I can just you can see it highlights and I can just drop that in there boom and it's uh, and it's replaced so we could update this uh, and this is how you would update this file if, if you want to use this um, 
uh, he used to work at Apple, but he doesn't anymore. But we'll call that there, and um, we can just put London in here. So, um, yeah, it's very quick to update, very easy to use, and now you've got this nice uh, little bio card, and you know, you just drop this in here, boom. Very easy. Uh, and I'm going to change this background image. As this is a section, you can't drop the image into uh, you can't drop the image into it because it's not an image well, but you just drop it into the background there. Boom. And that looks pretty good. Um, we could obviously increase the width of this and stuff and play around with it. Um, one other thing, uh, I'm using a custom component down here. And it's a very simple custom component. Uh, I'm just using it to link the text. Because at the moment, our built-in text editor, it has all this functionality behind the scenes, but we've not exposed it in the UI. So for now, with this stuff here, you can't add links in here. Um, you need to do this. Um, but the text editor, there's it will be improved. We just need to come back and do a pass to that. So um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'll post this file along with the video this week so you can download and have a play around. And then the other thing, um, frustratingly for you guys, the links in the menu weren't working and that was just because we needed to update the component. And now if I preview, um, preview the site, I can click around in it and the menu items work. And you can see it changes in elements to update what page I'm on because it sends the uh, new page to the browser. So there, so you can click around and that all works. Um, yeah, so a lot of nice updates in this version or in this beta, lots of good stuff. Um, yeah, trying to keep these dev diaries shorter. So. I'm going to wrap it up now. That's all for this week. If you've got anything you want me to cover next week, um, let me know. I mean, I'll probably be covering beta updates again because we hope to push out betas every Tuesday along with the Dev Diary videos. Now, the betas won't be every Tuesday because um, we need to test stuff and it's probably not a good idea to, to push them out at that rapid pace um, if we're under pressure. So. It's kind of what we're aiming for, but you know, um, you will get regular beaters essentially is, is what I'm saying. So, all right, uh, that's it for this week. Enough rambling and I will see you again next week. Cheers, bye.